if you remember, I did a tutorial on these um, seed bead bracelets where I used a two, mil two millimeter rondelle. This is a packet that I got from BB Craft. They are electroplated glass rondelles, a two millimeter. There is 12 colors in this. I absolutely love the shine and sparkle on those. You also have seed beads that I've gotten from BB Craft also. These seed beads come in a tube. You can get them in a tube. You can get them in packets like this. They open up from the top. You can transfer them into a bottle if you want to. Label it to say what it is. Anyway, so on the tutorial, I did just one row which consisted of the silver, the rondelle, and the silver beads. So there was like three rows, but it only had one set of rondelles in it. So I went off camera and I did the other two rows and made it just like this one. Now this bracelet is made with three millimeter rondelles and 10 o seed beads. So this is 11 o seed beads and two millimeter. So it has a beautiful, it doesn't matter which way you do it, it's still, they sparkle. As you can see, there's a lot of sparkle in the bracelet. So on the first half, I put a, a uh, ball and socket, is what the clasp is called, a ball and a socket. And that just means that there's a ball on one end and a socket on the other end, and you just clip it. Like that so when I put the other row on I thought oh okay I don't really want to take that off because I really like that so here's what we're going to do for security purposes of um, one may open up we're going to do something different so I'm going to put the other ball at the other end and I'm going to put the socket down here on this end. So all you got to do on that is I've already opened up one jump ring but I'll show you how to do it. We put our, we find the opening, find that opening and we twist. We don't open up like this, we twist. So give it a little twist and I'm going to leave the other half on there because I don't want to not put it on there right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pick up the uh, socket part and drop it. So let's go ahead and do this and I will edit that. So I'm going to put, I, and I want to put it on there just the way that it's laying so I don't get confused. So I'm going to pick this up. Remember the daisy uh, part that we made on the bracelet? We're going to slide that in there like that. Then we're going to go back and grab the side of it. Okay, and we're going to close it up. And when we close it up, we turn around and do the same thing that we did when we opened it. We're going to twist back now. And twist back to the point that it's closed. You can look at it. Give it a little look down in there. Make sure it's closed. And it's closed. So give me. Okay, sorry about that. I already had it open so now to make sure that it's right I'm gonna go ahead and place this I'm gonna grab a hold of it I'm going to place it into that like that okay the bracelet is gonna go on like this so you want to make sure that you get it right. So put that on like that. 
wiggle it around until you get a nice little firm and then we're going to close it okay and it's closed all right hopefully I did it right so now We're going to put this one on there, snap it into place, there you go, and that's what it looks like. You have two ball and sockets. So if one was to open up, you still have one that's left on there to, um, so you're not losing your bracelet. Okay. So when it's laid out, it looks just like this. The ball and socket is up there. Just like that. So, like I said, this is a collaboration with BB Crafts. Um, if you would like to go to bbcraft.com, use the uh, discount code of Ivy10 for 10% off. Check out the beads, check out the rondelles, and watch my tutorial. I think you enjoy making this. Thank you for watching. And remember, hit that like button for me. It helps the uh, algorithm and me put up these uh, tutorials. Thank you for watching.